Welcome back. Another vulnerable population left to navigate under a new world of isolation are veterans. News Nye's Renee Skinner has more on how the effects of PTSD plus how stay at home orders are affecting men and women in uniform across the state of Colorado. Our nation's veterans, once on the front lines of freedom, now left to navigate an already struggling health care system reeling from COVID-19. The main issue for veterans is the lack of purpose. So when we're stuck at home, they don't have that. Imagine being in a huge organization, maybe being a leader and then having to having to start all over. Since March 19th, Regional Veterans Benefits Administration offices have been closed. Walk-ins, counseling and other in-person services canceled. I've had a PTSD and just the paranoia, the fear of PTSD is kind of like our fight or flight on overdrive. Also on overdrive, veterans hotlines. According to the American Legion, phone calls to the veterans crisis line have gone up 12%. And if you can't be seen or heard in person, the next best thing? In this time of social distancing, they're doing a lot of telemental health. Then those appointments are at an all time high. And then finally, everybody's advising everybody to do a body check. I've been reaching out to a lot of veterans. Giving new meaning to the military phrase, I've got your six. Being a veteran myself, I mean, we have a lot of things we can talk about that they can't talk about with anyone else. Tuesday night, a different phone line for veterans. The person on the other end of the call. I want to hear their questions. I want to understand what they are. Undersecretary Dr. Paul Lawrence with a specific message for our wounded heroes. And quite frankly, we have folks standing by who can solve their problems. Now this is a telehealth town hall meeting happening Tuesday at 3 p.m. where veterans can get information on claims and a whole lot more. We have all the information on our website. Just visit KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Renee Skinner, News 5.